Born in India of English parents, Rudyard Kipling was a successful novelist and poet and short story writer whose popularity in America was second only to Mark Twain during the five years he lived in Vermont while publishing The Jungle Books and Captain's Courageous. This off-quoted poem by Rudyard Kipling has long been a great favorite of mine. When I read it, I picture myself with any one of my eight children on my lap while I impart the wisdom of the ages to his or her open and eager mind. In this fantasy, my child listens intently while I describe the secrets of the universe as though I am the enlightened master who has discovered them through a lifetime of struggle, and now, with fatherly wisdom, pass them on to the next generation who will use this knowledge to transform their world. End of fantasy. Listen to this poem. It's called If. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet triumph and disaster, and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man my son. Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, does indeed inspire such a vision whenever I hear it, but it is purely a fantasy of mine. I have discovered truth in many of the tidbits of advice Kipling offered to his son in this poem, but frankly I still work on applying this kind of advice in my own life every day. This famous poem by Rudyard Kipling, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1907, has so much to offer every one of us. The lofty ideas in this four stanza poem inspire me to be a better man each time I read it and share it with my children or students or audiences. I have included if in this collection because of my desire to share it also with you. That is, I want you to feel inspired to not only be able to help others to improve their own quality of life, but to also feel inspired to become a better person yourself. There are so many messages in these 32 lines of poetry. Let me tell you what inspires me in this poetic advice. I am inspired by the idea of being self-directed enough to maintain my own sense of balance and integrity when I do not allow myself to become part of the madness around me, irrespective of what others might think. Be yourself is the advice, not only here, but in many of the selections in this recording. And when I am able to do so without judging those around me, I feel heartened. I want my children and any others who may decide to make me their teacher to cultivate their personal integrity and balance in the face of any and all circumstances. I am inspired when I am a good loser in life. I have not always been this way, and I am not always that way now, but I am much better at it today. I love the action and competition as much as ever, and I can now retreat in peace when the contest is over and know in my heart that the real me is unattached to outcomes. The act of participating means that you will win some and lose some, and the results are imposters posing as the real you. I would like my children to know that they are not their victories, nor are they their defeats. I am inspired when I can make my decisions in life based on how I feel rather than how things will turn out. Those are the times when I can turn down a lucrative offer to host a television show in favor of speaking at a benefit and not only not worry about it, but not feel the need to mention it to anyone, and when I can be generous anonymously. I am inspired when I see myself living from my heart and needing less and less to prove myself worthy. I am inspired when I can read poetry all day and then write about that rather than taking on a more financially rewarding activity. 
I am inspired when I notice that I no longer am compulsively attached to convincing others that I am right, even if I know the truth of what I am saying to be exactly right for me. I want my children and my students to know the joy and fulfillment of following their own destinies and pursuing their own heroic missions, even if those around them, including me, would prefer another course. All of these qualities that Kipling so brilliantly portrays in his poem, If, signify to me what he truly means in his conclusion. If you can do all these, you too will feel inspired, and yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. This was his way of saying to his son that maturity is being your own person without judgment toward others. When you are grown up in these ways, you will have everything you could ever want. <laughs>